armors down. Just imagine everybody's guns putting their guns down at the same time. It was so embarrassing. The HOA had the nerve to say that, oh, I'm disturbing the peace. Hi, family. I'm Marcelle Shade, and I have a word for you today. We're family. I just have a little, little something that I need to get off my chest. I know that for the past two weeks, I just have not been consistent with posting. And I just want to come on and just be a little transparent about, you know, what exactly has been going on and what I've been going through. Some of you may know I've been doing real estate for 13 plus years, as well as um, real estate has always helped to support like my active career and um, any like businesses that I may start. Um, real estate has always supported that and I've always lived off of my passive income if I didn't have a job. So. For the past couple of years, I've been fighting with this HOA, this HOA, this is a lesson learned for anybody out there that wants to buy property. Try to buy property that does not have an HOA. Because when you have a property that has an HOA, they do things like tell you that you can't rent out your property. So I've been in a situation to where I was not able to rent out my property for three years straight because I had a situation with a tenant and this is this is another lesson learned for anybody that want to on the next light turn right for anybody that wants to become a landlord you know make sure you're getting a, a property that doesn't have an HOA and then making sure you're screening your tenants so at the time I was living in Florida I was not able to screen this tenant properly because I was living out of state so at the time my mom was screening this lady for me uh, and it just so happened that she decided that she wanted to trap out of my unit at the next light turn left <laughs> she wanted to trap out of my unit and I had no idea that was going on until one of the neighbors underneath me told me hey you know it's a lot of activity coming in and out of your unit and I'm like what that wasn't even the cause of why I lost my leasing permit I end up losing my leasing permit for this particular property because the police SWAT came looking for my tenant's son because I don't know he must have did something serious because they came out to the property with guns out at five o'clock in the morning and guess when they came they came when my tenant doesn't even live there anymore the tenant's son that the police was looking for does no longer live in the unit she moved out like nine ten months ago and it was a new tenant that was now living in the property and she was an older lady it was crazy and it was so embarrassing and the HOA had the nerve to say that oh I'm disturbing the peace when it was clearly a mistake by the police because even whenever they came and they were knocking on the door and they had all their guns out my current tenant that was in the unit at the time she showed them her id and they was like oh you know we're sorry we're looking for this particular person and i'm sorry she no longer lives there they noticed that she didn't live there they put their guns down and all you heard was armors down and like just imagine everybody's guns putting their guns down at the same time it was so I say all that to say that I end up losing my leasing permit because of it. I was disturbing the peace. This is what the HOA board is saying. This is why I say do not get a property that has an HOA. I will never, I don't care if this property is in the boondocks. Somewhere in West Hell. I will never get a property that has an HOA never never again because they can literally just make up any type of rules so they um went ahead and they took away my leasing permit right they decided to you know take it upon themselves and immediately without no warning they gave me 
no type of written notice okay so back to what i was saying the hoa uh basically started to get really slick without a warning without any notice in the mail they just went ahead and started finding my account five hundred dollars a month so i had to literally fight the board about it for so many years like i had to fight to get all of the fines off of my account to the point that it accumulated up to like five thousand dollars it was crazy so after so many meetings and come to find out it was like some ladies on the board and they were upset they were saying like oh she's young and making money off the unit it's my unit like why are you watching my pockets so at the end of the day it's just a lesson learned about having a property that has a HOA attached to it and They've given me such a hard time, not to mention, like, you know, I had um, a homeowner that lived underneath me at, at the property, at the same property, that attempted time and time again trying to sue me, um, all this other stuff. Like, it was just so much. So, I've basically gone for three years. I've been going for three years with that income that uh income being taken away from me the board is basically forcing me to sell my property because i'm not able to rent it out and and when i if, if i do rent it out they're gonna find me and then whenever they were finding me they were like oh well we're gonna up it to now from 500 to 700 dollars i constantly kept telling them like hey i'm in a hardship I'm a single mother, you know, like the board literally ignored me for years to the, to the point of like now recently I even emailed them and I said, hey, you know, I'm current on my HOA dues. Is it a reason why the board is ignoring me, still ignoring me? This has to be illegal at this point. Like, how do you ignore a homeowner when they're paying their dues and the and my unit has literally been vacant for three years because I'm not able to put a tenant in there and nobody lives there. So literally it's just like sitting there accumulating bills every single month, every single year. I was forced to go get a job because I wasn't able to rent out my unit to be able to get that income back. It's just sad that you, know, you do come into situations like that whenever you are in real estate that when you're in a real estate investor, and you know you being a landlord you just don't want to come across a property that has an HOA because at any moment they could just make up a rule and it's it, within the bylaws you know everybody bylaws are different but I know it was within my bylaws that oh whatever the board say goes and it's like but you're messing with somebody's livelihood you know like you never know what people are going through and at the end of the day I feel like it was just a lot of like animosity and jealous jealousy upon me with some ladies that were a part of the board and it's like you don't know what people are going through you don't know how people are using that money I was li use literally using that money to support me and my son now I'm just forced to get an at-home job while I'm still working on building my business so and if you all know if you're an entrepreneur when you're building a business it does not happen overnight I only been in business for one year I understand it is a building process but at the same time it's like that's why I have the passive income from the real estate too so I can focus on other things and at the same time it's like I it, it's a lesson learned to always be prepared and always have that extra income because of things like this like you just never know life happens you always to just be prepared overly prepared so it was a lesson learned it was devastating for me because i never thought that i would ever be in a position to where someone had the upper hand or, or could control my income even though you do own property just be careful and make sure you don't have an hoa okay so that is the tip 
and the advice for all my investors out there and, and property owners or, or future property owners that want to get into real